kwai bomi songo mfoni bana kwai bomi songo smart mothers akwai bomi songo smart students great Good. That is what you are. Let me recognize the presence of the deputy speaker, by extension all the members of the House of Assembly, the dean of commissioners, by extension all the commissioners that are here in our midst. I recognize the executive directorate, Aquaibom Investments, and his dear wife, Pastor, and Mrs. Umoino, representative of Minister of Health, Mr. John Urapa, and Ministry of Agriculture, Dr. Ayeleke Rasak. Let me welcome the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture, Ugun State, Dr. Adela Odedion. I recognize all the women that came in my entourage. I recognize the members of Technical Committee on Agriculture and Food Sufficiency, all the resource persons, Dr. Paul Ilona, Dr. Jude Ohanele, Dr. Edna Akwan, the representatives of Nestle Foods, the men, the youths, the women, all the stakeholders, the Mbong Iban, the wives of Paramount rulers, you are all welcome to this epoch-making occasion. I feel greatly honored to be involved in the launch of Smart Mothers because I am a smart mother. The initiative and the hosting of the 2020 Nutritious Food Alliance with the theme, Increase Nutritious Food Supply Through Agro Business. We must recognize the fact that healthy diets and nutrition are critical to the achievement of sustainable development goals. And this requires action to fight off not only the epidemic of obesity and malnutrition, but to facilitate abundance of healthy and affordable food supplies and end poverty while encouraging engagement in agribusiness. I commend Harvest Plus, I sincerely commend Harvest Plus, which has been in the vanguard of eradicating malnutrition caused by the deficiency of, e caused by the deficiency of essential nutrients in our everyday diet. I commend them, I commend them for partnering with Aquaibom State Government to create this awareness. And I believe that their efforts will continue to improve that which have been done in the state already. Nutrition is a very significant aspect of our lives. The United Nations has described malnutrition as a serious global challenge and a barrier to eradicating poverty, the fundamental cost of 45% of under five deaths annually, and a primary reason for stunted children in most developing nations. A child that is not well fed will definitely not grow well. That child will be stunted. That child will be susceptible to different kinds of diseases. But with what we are doing today and what we've been doing, we believe that this will be a thing of the past. We will no longer have malnourished children when we know how to feed them properly. In 2017, when there was a drastic food shortage in the country, it took the pragmatic intervention of my NGO, FEREP, with the project FEREP's Food for All to avert a possible food crisis in the state. We did this by promptly engaging women and youth in large-scale cultivation of improved species of cassava, maize, and etc. That effort was complemented with agro-processing chains of palm oil, cassava, and fish processing, 
which encouraged nutritious food supply across the state. Food for All Project by Ferret compels so many people to go back to farming. I could remember when we launched that project. So many people were surprised. Ha, ah, the first lady is going to farm. But after that, I knew that so many people, so many women were encouraged. They all went back to farming. And in that year, we noticed that there was a drop in food prices in the state. And that was a plus. For all the projects, Ferry compelled so many to go back to farming. It was based on this modest intervention that I was given an award by UNICEF as nutrition champion. I have initiated a program tagged Martha's Pregnant Care Outreach. This program is aimed at teaching women how to take care of themselves. Thank God for the keynote speaker. He listed everything that we've been doing during this uh, Pregnant Care Outreach. When we talk about a woman being smart or a child being smart, it starts from the formative stage, which is during pregnancy. A child that is not properly fed, a mother that is not properly fed during pregnancy, will definitely bring forth a malnourished child. So during this outreach, which we organize quarterly, we teach women, you don't only eat. Some will tell you I've eaten three times a day, but what's the quality of food you are eating? We have resource people that talk to them, how to eat balanced diets, how they can combine their diets. God has so much blessed us in this state. We have varieties of good food, good nutrition, but sometimes lack of knowledge. So it has been our responsibility to take these women back down the lane, to teach them how they can combine their food, how they can grow things at their backyards. With a little money in their hands, they can eat balanced diets. That has been my work at Ferep, and don't be surprised that I'm here because it is a cause that I've been championing to make sure that we eradicate mal malnutrition in this state. His Excellency, the Governor, is also very keen. He is so interested in the nutrition of his people. That's why he encouraged the Ministry of Agri. He approves free provision of improved varieties of seedlings, crops to farmers. Free. That is done free. So it is a work that is continuous. And I thank Harvest Plus that they are partnering today. The awareness will be created the more. Thank God for the number of people we have here. I want to believe that if they are to take statistics of malnourished children in this state, we won't have so much. That we have broken that record of malnourished children in the state. All thanks to our governor and his initiative. He is always saying that we can grow what we eat. Any state that cannot grow what they eat, that state will definitely go hung, hungry. They will definitely go hungry. We can grow what we eat. And God has so much blessed our soul that anything you put in the soil will come out very well. As you rightly heard from the commissioner, before now, we were going to the northern part of the country to buy vegetables. But today is history. We are producing, we are growing it in this state now. And that is what His Excellency the Governor stands for. Growing what you can eat. With Harvest Plus coming in, supporting us with, the, with their products, with improved varieties of products, we are going places. I want to thank the Nestle. I listened to your presentation. I think I'm one of the fans of Nestle products. Everything I use in my house is from the Nestle products. So you said you're going to partner with us. I am gladly waiting. Just give me a day. Give me a day. Say we are coming here. Let our children feel your benevolence also.
You've done it in other states. We want you to come in, let them feel you, let them see you, let them see the product you are coming to support our children. When we talk of um, eradicating malnutrition, as you heard, women are at the forefront. If a woman is not empowered, if a woman does not have capacity to go to farm, hunger will definitely strike the family. And so what do we do as Ferret, as my NGO? We go into empowering women. They will attest to this that I always tell them that a woman must have something doing. I emphasize that a lot to them. A woman must have something doing. This farming season, during farming season, we admonish all of them to go back to farming. Yes, the men do farm also. They used to find, but mothers are at the forefront. Without mothers, we won't have food in the house. So mothers are encouraged. I will encourage, let mothers be empowered. Let them be empowered. For these beautiful ones in Akwaibo State, the governor have tried giving soft loans so many times to so many of them. All this is an attempt to encourage them. When a woman is empowered, trust me, the whole nation, that family will be stable. A woman that is not empowered, go and look at the family, very dysfunctional. The children will go this way, the husband will go this way. But look out for a woman that has something to him. Whatever that person does, a woman, a smart mother, as we are launching today, a smart mother will provide for the family. She will know how to arrange what to give to the family. She will know the right food. Even when a child is sick, she will know the right food to give, not only to the children, even to the husband. She will know how to prepare meals that will give the right nutrients to the family. So we are trying all that to make sure that women are empowered and the governor is not sleeping. I am not sleeping. That's why whenever we have this kind of occasion, I can never be left out because I have a stake at it. I will continue to push forward to make sure that we eradicate malnutrition in this state. We've been discussing with the commissioner for agri very soon, there's going to be explosion of food in this state. The food sufficiency state that the governor is always talking about will come to play very, very soon because we are serious about it. And Harvest Plus, you are coming at the right time to boost this effort. And I want to assure that your coming here is not in vain. You are just coming to add to what we already we are already doing in the state and we'll continue to do until we get there finally it's not all about coming out to sit here i want to encourage you again and again when you leave this place you saw the um, sister sister matilda i don't know how many of you have visited her farm or where she processed food. I am always so proud of that mother. She does a lot of things. The children she has in her home, those orphans that she's taking care of, everything she feeds those children is from what she processed, what she produced. Everything, I mean everything. So that makes it so easy for her. Otherwise, she wouldn't be able to contend. She has a lot of children from babies. And she's feeding them with what she is producing. So I encourage everybody, all the stakeholders, everyone in this house. Nobody is exempted. Farming is not for the poor. Neither is it for the rich. It is for everybody. If you lock down nutrition, everybody will die of hunger. So it is the place for everybody to go back to farm. Whatever you can do at your backyard, instead of planting only beautiful flowers. Yes, I love flowers. But you can also, in the midst of flowers, look for something that will benefit the family as food to plant. 
When I was growing up, I knew we had so many things at our backyard. You only buy a few things in the markets. So I want us to go back to that culture. In our Kwai Pumstead, we are blessed with so many varieties of food that our parents, our grandparents used to eat that were very nutritious. I don't know how many people are still eating otomboro. Sorry for those that don't understand. Otomboro is banana porridge, unripe banana porridge. This is something that was given to babies when you are weaning them off from breast milk. Give a child banana, unripe banana porridge. Man, it's very, very healthy. You see how that child looks. But these days, so many mothers don't want, they want thin food. Thin food, yes, thin food is, is good. But let's go back to our old time food that we used to eat. How many people eat ikbong? They will say ikbong. Ikbong is kokoyan. It is very nutritious. They will say ikbong is for poor man. As I'm standing here, that's one of the best food because I know the calorie there is very small compared to yam. But so many people would not like that. The sweet potato we are talking about, let's go back to it. It has a lot of vitamin A. So there are so many things. As you're winning off, we teach these women when they come out for our uh, outreach, try to give these children organic food. It will help them to grow. When once you miss it from pregnancy, if you don't intervene on time, that baby, that child will grow up to have problem in the future. So we emphasize that mothers, as you are here, as I'm going to launch Smart Mothers Initiative today, I believe that we are all smart. We will go and improve on what you've been doing already. Let the news go to every nook and cranny of the state that we are talking about good nutrition. Good nutrition. Don't eat eba in the morning. Eat rice in the morning. Eat eba in the evening. Eat yam. And somebody will ask you, have you eaten? You said yes, I've eaten three times. That is not it. You try to balance your food with the six nutrients, you know the macronutrients, the one you know about, the micronutrients, the one that works your brain. And I know that God will help us to achieve our goals and our dreams in Jesus' name. So once again, I thank you for the award. I've been inducted. I am a smart mother. We will continue to be smart. We will continue to produce smart children, smart husbands, smart youths, and our state will be food sufficiency state in the name of Jesus. Thank you once again, Harvest Plus, and all the stakeholders, all the supporters. I know there are so many foundations that support this program. We appreciate you all as you'll be going back. God will take you back safely to your different destinations. Once again, welcome to Aquaibum. For those that are copying, it is good to copy good things. It is good. We, are, we encourage you to copy the good thing and take it back. Commissioner for good. You're welcome. Regards to your governor. Once again, thank you and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Right at this moment, Her Excellency will join the smart mothers down here. Her Excellency will join the Thank smart you. mothers. Thank you. So my primary assignment here was to launch the smart mothers initiative. I therefore launch smart mother initiative in the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Okay, the smart mothers come down. Her Excellency is going to join them. Dr. Edna, the Honorable Commissioner for Agriculture, the all conduct, all the smart mothers, DJ Sexy, let's go. After that, group photograph, and while the group photographs are going on, we take the national anthem.
and Her Excellency will draw the exhibition stands at the gates. Smart mothers, where are they? All those in the smart mother uniform come out. All those in the smart mother uniform. Discussion will be on. Okay, Her Excellency is going to tour the exhibition stand now, and uh, Uh, please, other smart partners, allow Her Excellency to take pictures with the partners, Nestle, TechnoServe, uh, Development Dynamics, and all those others. Let's kindly create space for them, partners with Her Excellency, all the partners in the house, TechnoServe, Nestle, Protocol, kindly help us make sure we have this photograph. We crave your indulgence. Nestle, the chief midwife okay she's going for the tour maybe the course will take those photographs if it's possible thank you so much god bless you your excellency thank you for adding so much coloration to this event and this is to say the event continues here please touring of that stand is exclusively for our excellency the rest person stay in the hall there is another panel discussion trainings The peace also told the new the new